Hi, me again. And apologies if you're going to hear a slight buzzing in the background. I've got a fan on, isn't it hot? Really hot. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to do something we haven't done for a while. I've had my assistant, genuinely, no, no it's not a proper assistant, it's a mate that helps me out, pick out some TikToks about TV licensing stuff. And I haven't seen them. I thought we could watch them together for the first time here. So without further ado, let me turn the volume up. What's the first one? I haven't seen any of these. Are they just on my computer? They're just labelled one, two, three, and four. So I don't know what they involve. Let's have a look at the first one together, shall we? The correct way to deal with a TV licensing enforcement officer. Confirm nothing. Ask for ID. Shut the door. Okay, not bad so far. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're on. Yeah. TV licensing department. I'm not interested. What was that bit you put on there? Yeah, he's saying my address. Guess he's never heard of video editing. Blurred face briefly in case of delivering, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they do that. They do that now. They read your address out loud and they say your name loud over and over again because they think you're recording. You might post it on YouTube, but you won't if it's got your address and your name in it. It's not exactly hard to sort that out. Is it? So how did he deal with that? Not too bad, was it? Let's have a look again. I mean, that is textbook, isn't it? Didn't confirm anything. Who are you? I'm from TV licensing. Not interested. I would have just shut the door at that point, but it, <laughs> licensing goon, let's have a look at his face. He looks so dejected, didn't he? Like it's not the first time today he's heard that. Doesn't that make you happy? Does that not make you happy to see a goon toddling off not getting his commission today his little face ah oh, bless him bless him right what's the next one not many of us know that if you don't have a tv license if you need to then it is a criminal offense to avoid getting one so here are key points to remember if you watch tv live or on a streaming service such as itv hub youtube amazon prime sky go or bbc iplayer then you need a tv license Oh, I hate it when they word stuff like that. What was it she just said there? If you watch TV live on a streaming service such as ITV Hub, YouTube, Amazon Prime. Oh, Amazon Prime, fair enough. Sky Go, fair enough. I, uh, iPlayer, yeah, fair enough. But I, it, when I say if you watch TV live, it is, you can't do that without a license, obviously. We all know that by now. But it confuses so many people. You can watch TV on ITV Hub. You can word it better to right, save confusion. If you watch or record TV on channels such as Sky, Virgin or Freeview, then you need a TV license. You do not need a TV license if you only ever watch Netflix or other on-demand or catch-up programmes, except if you're watching BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer. Interesting facts, last year over 49,000 people were prosecuted for not paying the £159 yearly fee for a TV licence. Maximum penalty is £1,000 plus costs and there is no such thing as TV TV detector back. Oh, I'll stop you there. She's fair enough. I'll give her a pass. Give her a pass. Get legally speaking on TikTok. That was boring. We need something more. No. I haven't seen this one for ages. Look at this. It's a gentleman. I won't say his name on here. You can legally not have a TV license in the UK. You do not have to have one. I made a video of I've got to find this video. Wait, wait. I <laughs> found it. It's one of my really early videos, right? I, I collared this. He did a thing. I'll put the name of the thing that this gentleman made on the screen. I don't want to say name because I don't want to get this video knocked down or anything, right? And he talks about how to cancel your TV license. God, I haven't seen that for ages. And he's basically word for wording me. Watch this. Oh, this is the video I made on it. Look, there's some highlights for you. Have you watched this panodrama thing yet? Yeah, well at the end he teaches you how to not pay the TV license and I think I figured out where he did his research. Let's have a look. None of us asked for the BBC to come into our homes and display their programmes on our TVs. Look, I didn't ask for the BBC to come into my house and display their programmes on my TV. I don't want them. It's a myth that the BBC can sit outside your house and detect that you're watching TV. That is a myth, it's not true. The detector vans. It's an urban myth that it's not possible for someone to detect what you're watching in 2017. If the BBC TV inspector knocks at your door, 
you can, be polite, you should be polite. But you can open your door, say I don't need a TV licence, I haven't got one, goodbye. All you do, open your door as normal. If they say they're from TV licensing, close the door, say goodbye, be polite. You can open your door, say I don't need a TV licence, I haven't got one, goodbye. If you open the door and they say, hello, I'm from TV licensing, you just go bye, close the door. They have no rights to come into your home. No one's allowed into that property unless you invite them. It's obvious that if a TV license inspector walked past your front window and you had your wind curtains open and you were watching Panorama on BBC, which I don't think you will be, if you're watching BBC, they will fine you. Is make sure that your TV can't be seen through a window in your house and he looks through when he sees you're watching Coronation Street or something. That's it, it's over. You're gonna get a fine, you shouldn't have done it. You can legally not have a TV license in the UK. You do not have to have one. For the last five years, I perfectly legally haven't had a UK TV license. If you're fed up of paying for their propaganda. Are you fed up paying your TV license fee? Congratulations, you've just saved yourself 155 pound a year. I hope you enjoy the 147 quid that you've saved. As you can see, I said it years ago. I've been saying it for ages. No, you're welcome to the info, Tommy, but next time give us a credit, mate, will you? All right, some of them were swings and misses, right? And you can't say, you can't talk about TV licensing without saying quite a lot of the stuff similarly. But there were so many similarities. But that first video I did, where's it gone? That first video I did got loads and loads of, of views. And that was how uh, the bloke who started defund the BBC says he started it because of that video. Yeah, it's done 778,000. But this is the second time it's been on. The first time it was on, it did 500,000. But I got my channel deleted for something I don't want to talk about. But I was called Drunk Man Essex back then. Quite missed that name. I haven't seen that one for ages. Right, what else we got? You lot are absolutely crazy, like absolutely crazy. My TV licensing video blew up and you're all in the comments arguing, saying completely. I, I just interject, not about the two. This way of doing the videos, is this what the kids watch now? I mean, I go to great lengths to buy the green screen and to make backgrounds and make sure that when I'm cut out, look, this is what it normally looks like. If, could I just, I mean, she's got hundreds of thousands of views. Could I, I could just do that. Maybe I'm putting too much effort into this. Incorrect things about why you need a TV license and if you need one at all and all of these things. So I'm just here to clarify. To clarify Get on with it, love. None of you need to challenge me on it because I have just taken this screenshot from the TV licensing website. Just do the simple. All the best information about the TV license comes from the TV licensing website. Website. Do I need a TV license? You need a TV license to watch live TV on any channel, not just BBC. I can't watch it. Next, is there any more? I can't watch it. Stop paying your TV license. They cost £173 per year, which is almost £15 per month, and you. What did he just say? Has it gone up without me knowing? How much is the TV license in 2023? No, it's still £159 a year according to TV licensing. I'm quite sure I would have known about it if it had gone up. He did say that, didn't he? They cost £173 per year, which is almost £15 per month, and you might not even need one. Unless you watch live TV or you... Well, we know that the information in this TikTok is going to be fantastic because he's clearly done his research use online TV services, you probably don't need to pay for a TV license. Meaning that you only use on-demand streaming services or you use your TV to run external devices. Either way, it's worth checking if you actually need one because that's an easy way to save £170 per year and follow for more savings. Well, oh, now we're saying £170 a year. Hang on. Meaning that you only use on-demand streaming services. On-demand streaming services. And he shows Apple TV, Netflix, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. You might not... Hang on. You might not even need one. Unless you watch live TV or you use online... Unless you use live TV or you use online TV services, and then you, I play it, fair enough. But all four, ITVX, Now TV, Prime Video, you can watch. All of those bar iPlayer, obviously, without a TV license. TV services, you probably don't need to pay for a TV license, meaning that you only use on-demand streaming services. This is why I can't use TikTok. You know, it's, uh, they just knock out a quick video and just get loads and loads of views. 
for doing no research at all. He's done zero research in that. He's holding. Is he holding a letter in his hand? Yeah, he's holding a letter in his hand. Stop paying your. Like I do regularly, but at least I've learned a bit. I'm not saying I know everything there is to know about this subject. I really don't. Most of the time, when I don't know, I head over to the TV License Resistance slash forum and go and have a look at that. Links below if you want to have a look. That's where I get a lot of my main information from. It's not hard. Don't watch recordings being broadcast. Don't use BBC iPlayer. Everything else. It's fine. Uh, uh, I, uh, I can't. I'm too old for TikTok. I am too old for TikTok. Although I have been putting a few on there lately. Have I got any views on them? Let's have a look. TikTok. TikTok.com slash actually John Carney. Oh, I did one the other day. 72,000 views. I put one on this morning. Sunday's on 203 views at the minute. What's my highest one on here? 189,000. That's not bad, actually, is it? But I just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't know. What do you think about these? Let me know in the comments below. And um, if you see any good TikTok, I get tagged in quite a lot. But I don't know how this all works, right? So when I click the, the person who's tagged me, I can never find a comment to say thanks or anything like that on there. But um, yeah, if you see anything that you think might be interesting to me that I'd like to talk about over on the Ticker Tocker, let me know. Let me know, alright? Now the links are below to these ones if you want to head over to that Chinese spy website and uh, and leave a comment or whatnot. And uh, let me know what you think about them, as always. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be. Ta-da!